Hello, dear students. I hope that you're doing great. I will start our video by a revision about insects reproduction. Insects reproduce sexually by sexual reproduction. So both a female sex cell and a male sex cell are involved in the process. After fertilization, the female lays eggs on the leaves of plants. After a while, a larva hatches out of the eggs. During the larval stage, the insect is active. It feeds first on the shell of its egg. It feeds on the leaves of plants. It um, is growing too fast. It is shedding or uh, it is going through molting. Let me remind you that molting is shedding the exoskeleton. So the larva sheds its exoskeleton from four to five times. The last shedding happens inside the cocoon. So after entering the resting stage or the pupa stage, the insect spins a cocoon around its body and sheds for the last time. It develops into a complete insect. And when the insect is ready, it leaves the cocoon, it breaks the cocoon and goes out to start a new life cycle. Let me tell you that scientists studied the composition of a cocoon and the composition of wood also. Actually, they studied everything around us, our bodies, the walls, the food, the animals, the plants, and they found that they are almost made of the same elements, the same kinds of matter. What's an element? What's matter? Let me give you examples. They studied the cocoon and they found that cocoon are made of silk. And silk is made of proteins. One of those proteins is the fibroin. And they found that the fibroin, for example, has carbon in it. It has hydrogen in it. It has nitrogen. It has oxygen. What about wood? Wood or the composition of wood varies from a species to another species. But in general, wood has carbon in it, C. It has oxygen in it, O. It has hydrogen in it, H. It has nitrogen also, N. It has also other elements. So elements are what make matter around us. What's the difference between elements and compounds? Let's start first by defining matter. Matter makes everything around us. Anything that has a mass and that is taking space, like the air around you, the air, the oxygen that you are breathing now, the carbon dioxide that you are breathing out is filling the room around you. So air is actually matter. You are sitting maybe on a chair. The chair is taking space. So it is made of matter. You are taking space. You are made of matter. Matter makes everything around you. Let's take some examples. Coins, diamond, coal, bricks, ice. Those are solid matter. These are examples of things that are solid. Oil and water, vinegar, Pepsi are examples of liquid matter. While the oxygen you breathe, the helium that you use to inflate your balloons are examples of gas matter. So matter exists in three different states. There are more than 100 kinds called elements. So as I told you, scientists studied everything around you and they found almost 112 elements that make up everything around you. They make up coal, they make up um, bricks, they make up the vinegar, the helium, the oxygen. And they found that 
elements are the building blocks of matter. So if you look around you, I want you to say everything is made of matter and matter is built out of elements. Do you remember when we talked about cells and we said that bodies, animals' bodies, plants, the people, they are made of cells. So cells are the building blocks of bodies. Now, I want you to think in the same way. Elements, which are smaller, I think now, are the building blocks of matter. Elements make matter. We have pure substances and we have mixtures. And as I told you, till now we know 112 elements. Most of the elements are solids and most of them are metals. Let's go for some examples. The hydrogen. In water, there is uh, hydrogen. In uh, sugar, there is hydrogen. Hydrogen makes lots of examples of matter around you. Oxygen. Nitrogen, neon. Why am I or why do we use these letters for? Actually, each letter stands as a symbol for the matter or for the element. So each time you see an, an H, a capital H, you can tell that this is hydrogen. You see an N, it is nitrogen, N-E, neon. Let's go for more examples. Iron, Fe. Aluminum, Al. Mercury, Hg. Carbon. The hydrogen, the oxygen, the nitrogen, and the neon are found in the gas state. Those are gases. While the iron, the aluminum, the mercury, the silver, gold are metals. And you know, metals are shiny. They are good conductors of heat and electricity. We can bend them. They are used in um, lots of things. Look at this foil. It is made of metals too. The mercury, actually, it is the only metal fa found in uh, a liquid state. It is found in the thermometer. And as I said, it is, it is a liquid. The elements we talked about, let me go back to this slide. Those are elements. Why do we say that they are element? Because they are made of one example of matter. So this is hydrogen only. Let me give you another example. The oxygen we breathe is called, okay, let me give you its symbol. So it is O2. This is the, the symbol for the oxygen we breathe, O2. I'll make this a little bit bigger. Is it an element or a compound? Let's see. What does it have in it? It is made of oxygen only. Do you see another, um, another element, another symbol? No, it is oxygen only. So it is an element. Let me give another example. I will put the formula of water, which is H2O. H2O, I'll have to put the number smaller, so here is the H2O. Is it an element or a compound? Let's see. How many symbols does it show? It shows the symbol for the hydrogen and the symbol for the oxygen. Two symbols, so it is a compound. It is not a pure substance. It is a mixture. It has two elements in it, hydrogen and oxygen, so it is a compound. In the next slide, you'll see other examples of compounds. Let's take those coins. Those coins are actually made of bronze. The bronze is not a pure element or a pure substance. How do we make bronze? We mix copper with tin. 
The copper is an element. The symbol of the copper is Cu. And the tin is another element, and its symbol is Sn. When you mix copper with tin, you get bronze. What's the symbol for bronze? Actually, you put those two symbols next to each other to make the symbol for the bronze compound. So it's CuSn. And as you see, compounds are substances formed of two or more elements. Another example of compounds, the salt you eat. Each time you use salt in your food, I want you to remember that you are consuming a compound. This compound is made of two elements also. Sodium, the symbol for the sodium is Na, and chloride, Cl. What's the symbol for the salt then? NaCl. And ACL is the scientific formula for the salt you, you eat. Sugar. There are different kinds of sugar, but sugars are made or composed of three different elements. Hydrogen, oxygen, and carbon. Shock. And shells, they are made of calcium, Ca, carbon, C, and oxygen. You always count the capital letter. So CA stands for calcium, C for carbon, O for oxygen. So three elements together. So the chalk formula shows that it is a compound. What about rust? Rust is made of iron and oxygen. So compounds are made of two elements or more than two elements, while elements show one element or it is a pure substance only. In fruits and vegetables, you will see organic compounds too and um, in medicines as well. This is all for today's lesson. What you have to do is to memorize the symbols for the different elements we saw today. Let me remind you that matter is found or exists in three states. Solid matter, liquid matter, and gas matter. Most of the elements or most of the matter are solids and most of them are metals, and there are 112 different elements. We saw some today's. An element is a building block for the matter around us. Examples of matter with their symbols. We will be using their symbols, and each time you see a symbol, you must identify the element we're talking about. H for hydrogen. O for oxygen. N for nitrogen, and E for neon, Fe for iron, Al for aluminum, Hd for mercury, this is a liquid metal, C for carbon, helium with the symbol He, silver, Ag, as you can see, when talking about one element, you must write the first letter in the capital form, and the second one is a small letter. So capital, small letter. This is the symbol for one element. Fluorine, F. Calcium, Ca. Chloride, Cl. Copper, Cu. Tin, Sn. We also saw the sodium. An A. A compound is made of two or more elements. What are examples of compounds we know? Rust in medicines, in fruits and vegetables, salt, sugar are all examples of compounds. What I want you to do, to do is to study well the symbols for the elements we talked about today. Okay. Read them, study them, and if you still have any questions about today, today's lesson, 
I'll be available to answer. Bye-bye.